Hi, Mrs. Smith. How are you? My name is Nikki. I'm your student nurse aide for today. And today I'm going to clean your cath catheter. Is that okay? Okay, it's a good time. All right, thanks. Well, first I'm going to wash my hands. Um, lock your wheels. Pull the curtain. Make sure your call light's within reach, which it is. And then your bed is at a safe distance. I've already washed my hands. I'm going to go gather my supplies. Okay, so let's just walk through the supplies we need right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to have is a barrier. I'm going to put this on my table over here. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, there's my barrier. The next thing I'm going to have is a dry towel and a barrier towel. And then I have my pad. I'll show you what I'm going to do with those two. And I have two towels right here, one wash and one rinse. Soap, a pair of gloves, and a basin. All right. So, and then I put my um, dirty clothes hamper right next to me, and my trash is right there. You want to always make sure you have those items next to you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, since um, this person's been laying on a pad for, I want you to think about it, contemplate this person's been laying on a pad for two hours. So you need to come in and do uh, peri care, right? Or cath care. And every two hours you're either going to change the position of a person that's laying down or some, uh, or if they're incontinent, you've got to change their brief and their pad. And even if the pad is not wet, it doesn't matter because um, still bacteria and sweat and dead skin cells uh, can still accumulate, so you still need to change it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the pad that's underneath her. Put my gloves on. And since I'm going to get the take the pad off and roll her towards me, the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of bring her hands into a position where we know that our arms are safe. You always want to check for limbs, limbs, arms, and legs. You want to make sure you know where they're at before you turn a patient. Their bones are brittle; they could break. Okay, so I have a pad underneath here, and as you guys can see, here's a pad, okay? So I'm going to roll this pad and push it underneath her buttocks, okay? I'm rolling it underneath her because I'm going to turn her my way, and I just want to get that out. All right, so I'm going to hold on to hips and shoulders, and on three, one, two, three, I'm going to pull her my way. And as you can see, I can get this right out and put it in the dirty clothes. I'm going to show you another tip that you can utilize while you have this person on this side. You can already have your pad towel combination ready, but first I'm going to lay her down so I can show you that. Okay, so this is called, this is my own little proprietary uh, kind of uh, sample that I use um, to make sure that we get this right. So I use the pad long ways. This is an incontinent pad. And as you can see, it's a little short. We use it for skill testing. It's easier to maneuver. And I put my striped towel, my long towel, going this way. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this, because it says to remove and replace the pad. Here is the pad. We already removed one pad and we're going to replace this, but we don't want to get it wet. So we put a barrier and a dry towel this combination um, together. So if you already have that ready, when you take out the other one, you could just move this one into place. One, two, three, turning over, and we're going to move this into place. Now, your pad always goes up under the buttocks area, uh, about the nape of the back here, and it's supposed to catch any incontinence of urine or uh, uh, feces. All right, we're going to lay her back down. And since I have that way underneath her, as you can see, I don't have to turn her. I can just really just pull this out without grabbing onto her skin and roll that outwards. Okay, now we have that all taken care of. Now we can go get the water. As you see how long that took, if you went to go get your water first, the water would be getting cold. Mrs. Smith, would you like your water on the warmer or cooler side? Okay, warmer. All right, let's go do that. At this point, you really want, even though it's a mannequin, 
this is a test that you're passing a skill, so you really have to get warm water. So I like to test it on my wrist area, either here or here is more sensitive than my fingertips. Your fingertips can be compromised just due to life, working, calluses, things like that. And get a better judgment of what it feels like at a hole when you get it on the table and you use your wrist in this area. It's more likely what they feel. Okay, Mrs. Smith, I tested the water. It feels good to me. You tell me what you think. And you let them test the water. Oh, it's fabulous. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's just get started. All right, so now we need to expose the patient just a little bit. And so we're gonna, I like to call this sheet to feet. So I bring the sheet down this way and I pull the gown up, okay? Now you see we have a catheter here. So let's move this sheet and you see we have a barrier as well and a dry towel. So we're all good here. All right, the catheter should always go over the leg. Um, if the bag is not draining, you need to make sure it's not kinked somewhere. Kinks really happen right in here, especially when you put your, their pants on and you don't go back in to check the line and make sure it's straight. So you wanna put this over the leg, never under. And another thing that helps it to drain better is if you just make a little circle like that, uh, on the bed and make sure that it's not tugging. A lot of times we could put some tape here, but when it comes to elderly, we'd rather put a leg strap to keep something in place because one thing we don't want is this to pull out. There is a little bubble inside uh, uh, that keeps this in place and you don't want to pull that through the bladder and the uterus. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to wet my towel and I'm gonna put soap on my towel, making sure I do not put that soap over the water. Cannot put soap in the water. You cannot even, you know, get the soap over the water. So now I'm gonna soap my towel really good. If I have lots of water on my gloves, what I do is dab my towel to make sure I don't get it over the bed. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean the labia. This is the labia. Here's the clitoris and there's the ur ur urine hole and there's the vagina hole there. So we want to start here and go down. We're going to spread the labia down one. We're going to turn that towel around to the other side and go down two. And now we're going to open up our towel because we have to have a different position every time we wipe. We're going to hold that catheter in place. We're going to wrap it around, our towel around, go down without pulling and wash the circumference of the tube. Turn it to the other side and do the same thing. So we just washed. Now I'm gonna get rid of this towel. And now I'm going to rinse. Dab, dab, excess water. I'm gonna do the same thing. Spread the labia, go down one, go down two. Two sides of my towel. Now I have four sides of the towel. Now I'm on the third side. I'm gonna hold, circumference and hold. And then I'm gonna wrap around again and hold and go down. Now I'm done with that one. Now I'm gonna utilize my barrier slash dry towel. I'm gonna uh, pat the middle, pat, pat, pat. I'm a hold and I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze dry. All right. So now I'm going to cover her up and we're gonna get this sheet of towel, this towel out from under. Almost done, Mrs. Smith. Yes, keep your gloves on. You can still touch the sheets. And I'm going to look on this side, and I'm going to just push this this way underneath her. And then I'm going to make sure her arms are together and hips and shoulders. One, two, three. And I'm just going to grab this tail. And don't forget to roll away from you. Be mindful of their gown and sheets underneath them. Make sure it's straight. Going down. I like to kind of fan out the gown and not have it behind them because it tends to prevent decubitus ulcers and sores. All right, Mrs. Smith, let me go uh, get rid of my water and my supplies. I'll be back. You put your soap right back where you got it. Make sure you dry off any excess water. Come over here and pour away from you. Do not touch the sink, I mean, or the toilet. 
either one of them with the basin or away and dry. Simple paper towel, make sure it's dry thoroughly. Go back and you place this back where you got it. Again, this is for the Prometric testing in Texas. All right, so now I'm going to take off my gloves. Remember, you pull, disappear this way, and then off of the fingertips, wash the hands. Mrs. Smith, here is your call light. Your bed is still locked in, in a low position. Would you like your um, curtain open or closed? Would you like your bedside table next to you? All right, there you go. All right, if you need anything, just push the button and give me a call. I'm going to look right now at my card that's on the table to make sure I've done everything. I'm washing my hands again as I'm reading, and it looks like I'm done with my skill. My skill's complete.